Hi guys, so I'm here with another review for you all and um, lately I've been on a total reading kick like if you guys follow my Goodreads, which I'm going to be putting the link down below I've been reading like a crazy person and um, it feels awesome and um, yeah, I'm one book away from reaching my uh, reading goal for this year which was 24 books I know compared to Holly and Kaisa, which their goal was 100 books, it's like, but for me, it feels, I feel really accomplished because um, it's, when I was thinking about how many books I wanted to read this year, I thought, okay, let's be realistic, two books a month, I can do this, so I feel really happy that I'm going to achieve my goal, and um Next year, I'm going to increase my number of books that I'm going to read. So it feels, it's just a really exciting feeling. And um, yeah, once I finish, once I accomplish my goal, I'm going to be doing a video just showing the books that I read during the year because I didn't review all of them. I did review most of them, so I'm just going to be doing a, a video showing all the books that I read. So... Today I'm going to be reviewing um, Nicholas Dane by Melvin Burgess, Burgess, sorry if I said the last name wrong, and I bought this book because um, Dylan from We Read Books reviewed this book and I just was really impressed with his review, found the book really interesting, so I decided to buy it and I read it. So I'm going to review it to you guys and even though Dylan has reviewed this book already, I feel that it's interesting to have two different perspectives, have different opinions, maybe I'll mention some things that he didn't mention and vice versa. So yeah, hopefully you guys will like it. So um, for starters, this cover, um, don't really like it at all to be honest. Um, I don't see any clear connection. With the book, I felt that they could have been a lot more um, creative and come up with a cover that had a lot more of an impact. And um, yeah, I just I don't like the sort of mirrored little arrow thing, arrow things. Just I don't know. That's just me. Um, and I do find it very very weird that the author's name is bigger than the title of the book. Just saying, like, normally, pretty much, like, all the books that I've seen in the past, the title of the book was bigger than the author's name. Usually the author's name is just, like, something on the side or, like, on the bottom. But, yeah, this is just a very unusual cover that doesn't exactly please me. Um, so, yeah, just a little 360. Um, but... Unlike the cover, I did enjoy the book a lot. I thought it was a breath of fresh air from everything that I, I had been reading. It was so different, so unique from anything I had seen in the past. It was very raw and um, I read this book in a week and I was and it wasn't like I was in a vacation or anything else I was at work. so that does mean I was really into it um, and uh, it's not one of the shortest books. It's, it's definitely not one of the longest. It has 407 pages. So, yeah, I just find it so annoying, the little shiny thing. So, this book is about Nicholas Dane, which what the book is titled after. And Nicholas Dane is a 14-year-old boy, and his mother suddenly... Sorry, I'm having, like, a fit over this cover. And his mother suddenly dies of a drug overdose, um, heroin. And um, he is sent to a children's home because he doesn't have any family that could possibly take him in. And his mother, even though um, his mother was a drug user in the past, but she had stopped. But it was just... She used it once and it was just a bad trip and she overdosed. So he did have a 
happy, stable life with his mom. It wasn't like she was a druggie and he had a very um, unhappy life at home. And um, his life totally turned around after his mother's death when he goes to the children's home. And uh, what's most ironic is that when you think of children's home uh, and those kids that are sent there are in the most need of love and support and help, but this is where he faces the most struggle and where he faces the most horrifying um, violence, sorry, um, and just horrible abuse. The so, book really shocked me with the physical and sexual abuse from the people that are in charge of the home towards the people, the kids that live there. I think I have really thick skin when it comes to like sh those kind of shocking things like abuse and violence but with this book I honestly had to stop a few times because it was just so horrifying and so shocking that I just had to breathe and like <sighs> okay it's extremely psychological in the way that it makes it makes it feel like you're there and what I did find interesting and unexpected was how the book was in third person. I thought it would be first per um, thought it would be first person um, Nicholas narrating the events because like a diary, just because of how personal and psychological the whole book is. But as it turns out, the book is third person, and it got a little bit confusing. Um, some parts but towards the end you could understand why the author picked um, third person tense because of the parallel stories in the book. Something I quite liked about the book was the writing style. It's, it is an English novel, it takes place in England and uh, it has the British language which I just find it very interesting to read and something very unique that the author did and I thought it was very interesting to read was how some characters had some speech mannerisms and he didn't just describe them in words like this character did this he actually spelled out like how they how they would um their accents and how they would pronounce some words which just made the read very fun and quite funny sometimes i would describe this book as quite mature, Pure. sensitive, or quite young, I definitely wouldn't recommend you this book because you do need a raw, um, thick skin and you need to expect to be shocked and to be expecting that there is physical, sexual abuse and uh, there is quite heavy language at times, but it is very, very unique. Um, it is a very touching story and um, I'm sure stories like this um, do happen in real life, which is just really, really sad. And um, it is a very fast-paced book. And um, it's not one of those books that in a few months' time I'm going to forget about it. It's definitely going to stick to me. And um, yeah, Nicholas Dane great book Next. and the book review that I'm going to be doing is of Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist. I recently finished this book and I'm going to watch the movie so I can make some comments about the movie and the book and um, yeah so hope you guys are having a great day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!